What role do you think apps like Fedi will play in the future of Bitcoin? Can they replace lightning payments? So first of all, what is Fedi? Fedi is a company and a wallet of the same name, which is using the Fedi Mint protocol. The Fedi Mint protocol is an open source protocol to custody and transact Bitcoin in a community setup. What does that mean? So, Fedimint is a technology, uh, a protocol like the Bitcoin protocol, that allows federated custody over Bitcoin funds in a community. So, for instance, I could set up a Bitcoin for Fairness community federation with a couple of trusted members of the community who are the guardians of the community funds the Bitcoin of the community. The heart of a federation is a mint, uh, which is basically guarded by those uh, trusted community members. And that mint is issuing e-cash notes whenever a community member sends Bitcoin into the mint. So let me say it in another way. Fedi is a wallet that is using the Fedimint protocol. There will be others. For instance, Mutiny is at the moment uh, implementing Fedimints into their Lightning wallet as well. And um, the Mint itself, when you have 20 people, 100 people of a community, all of these people are using the Fedi wallet, for instance. Then you have five people of that community, the, the elder, community or very respected people who are the shared custodians of the money in the community. So that means those five or six people all hold a part of the private keys and they basically guard the funds of the whole community. And um, it's basically to what uh, sim it's similar to what banks did in the early days, you know, when, when money came up and we had merchants traveling around, first they used gold as money. But of course, gold was heavy. Uh, you can't carry it all over the world. And so the merchants put their gold into banks and the banks gave them a note in exchange showing them, okay, whenever you come back with that bank note, you can redeem your gold. So that's what's called an IOU. And uh, that's basically the same with eCash in these Fedimint federations. So you bring your Bitcoin. Uh, it might be too complicated for you to self-custody or you don't want to or uh, whatever. You pay your Bitcoin into the Mint and the Mint issues eCash notes for you, which are digital tokens. You as the user, you don't see anything in the Fedi wallet. You just see how many Satoshis you own. But then inside of the app, technically it's eCash. So, and the great thing is about these eCash notes is that uh, the Mint, the guardians, cannot see what you're doing with your money. It's very private. And it's also like with the gold, whenever someone comes with a banknote, they could redeem the gold. And it's the same with, um, with eCash. So whenever someone comes with eCash and wants to redeem the Bitcoin, they can. It doesn't matter who it is or who um, sent the money into the mint in the first place. As I said before, Fedi is only one app which is facilitating this Fedi Mint protocol. Um, they have their own approach uh, with community chats and you can basically send money within the chat. I think this is a great use case. And um, just this week when I was in Bitcoin Witsend in South Africa, I used Fedi to settle my 100,000 Satoshi debt that I had by sending those sats with Fedi Mint's eCash and I could send it offline. So that's also an advantage of eCash. You can send it even when you're not online. 
So the other person, the recipient, receives it in that moment when they go online. I gotta say there's also a downside to uh, Fedimints because they are fully custodial. That means that you need to trust the mint that they don't issue more eCash tokens than they have in de as deposits in Bitcoin in their mint. So there is trust involved. eCash is fully custodial and you need to trust that the members of the mint don't run off with your money. Um, that's of course a downside, but um, if you think about the fact that you might really have very trusted people as your guardians and there's a lot of um, in African countries you have a lot of these uh, saving communities that means that this in these communities they also trust those who hold the funds for the others and so um, it's like a little bit in Austria we had this uh, Sparverein in every restaurant um, where also uh, the 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 restaurant owner basically uh, was holding the funds for all the people in these uh, little boxes where people put their banknotes and their cash in to save money. And the Fedimint is a little bit like that. Now coming to the role of uh, Fedi and Fedimints in general. Um, as on-chain fees have been rising recently, as I said before, it's important that they also will rise in the future. It's possible that transaction fees are going to be as high as a value of $500 or even more per transaction. And that's why UTXO management is so important, where I recently added a lesson to the Learn Bitcoin course. Um, that's why it's so important. And um, I also suggest um, that you stop using very low amounts on the Bitcoin blockchain itself. Either use Liquid or use Lightning for that. Or eCash systems like Fedi from Fedimint or Kashu. It's another uh, protocol for eCash. And so we will see different levels of uh, custodianship or self-custodianship in the future as not everyone sadly will be able to own on-chain Bitcoin because if the fees go up to $500, your on-chain Bitcoin should at least have a value of $50,000. Otherwise, the fees are much too high and it's uneconomical. And a Fedimint can be a mitigator here as uh, small amounts can be pooled into the federation and the whole amount is custodied by a couple of trusted members of the community. So you won't have full, fully trustless ownership, but as a member of the community, you have custodians you trust and know. And as long as no one can prevent you from spending and redeeming your money, this is hopefully fine. Um, from a technical standpoint, I don't think that Fedimints will replace Lightning because Lightning is needed. Lightning gateways are basically used to swap Lightning Bitcoin and eCash. So you need the Lightning nodes and the, get the gateways uh, otherwise, you can't uh, have Fedimints. So what the Fedimint and the Lightning Gateway is doing is um, it's like imagine a woman with uh, two bags of money. In one, she has the Bitcoin Lightning and in the other, the eCash, Lightning eCash tokens. And um, so she's willing basically to sell either for the other. And, and that is what... Um, <clears throat> what happens in a in a filament. And if you think of, if you mean replacing lightning in terms of uh, the amount of payments being done, I mean, this might be uh, because um, it's also, you have to distinguish between custodial lightning and lightning in self-custody. It's not the same. I mean, it's the same value and it's Bitcoin, lightning Bitcoin, but the trade-offs are very different. So I would say Fedimints are in the middle of the two options. 
Um, you will, I, I assume you can trust your community members more than a custodian that you don't know. And the custodian has also to follow regulations with what happened recently with Wallet of Satoshi that they, for instance, um, ceased their operations in the USA because of regulations, because they would have had to KYC their customers and they didn't want to do that. So, um, Self-custody, Lightning self-custody is, of course, the best. Then uh, shared custody in Fedimint. And then I would say it's custodial Lightning that's on the lower level of um, self-sovereignty. So in general, I believe that eCash, be it Fedimint or Kashu or other protocols that might come up, up are a great alternative and a great um, way to additionally scale Bitcoin so that uh, the most people possibly can use Bitcoin. And I think uh, Fedi and Fedimint will play an important role in the future of Bitcoin. Hello, my name is Anita Posch and if you liked that video, please subscribe to my channel now to inspire me to create more content like this. And if you want to learn more about Bitcoin, then sign up for my free weekly Bitcoin newsletter at anita.link news.